Hey guys, Sublard here, back with another review. We got Hero Factory Breakout Inferno. I really like doing these, so that's why I'm doing more than two today. So, let's get on with that as soon as I straighten him crap out. Because he is all crooky, and I have a thing about that. I have to be perfect, or I can't do it. Hmm. I suppose that's good. There we go. So I'll give you a quick 360. Hopefully you can see his turbines. Like I said, my camera zooms out, so you should. This guy's a little more in-depth than, um, rock, I'd say. <clears throat> Excuse me, I squeaked there. <laughs> Sorry about that. But first, let's go over new pieces and weapons and stuff. First off, we got his little harpoon thingy, which I, this is my first one of these things. Turn it. You can see that, right? And then he's got the little sphere shooter, which I already demonstrated how that works. And then, of course, he's got the turbines. Not really weapons. But cool. <laughs> I like them. I like them. And new pieces now. He's got these in red. And he's got a clear piece up here, but that's been used. The core, the chest piece. And then these are in red. These have never been in red before, which is odd because of all the fire villains and uh, Savage Planet. Most of those were red. And then, uh, hmm. Not many of these have been made. There's only four in existence of these things put in the sets, as far as I know. And then he's got these silver tubes, which these have been used in the um, drop chip, which I own. And then the turbines, I believe, have been used in City or something. I don't get City because that theme is... I, I, I find it dull for some reason. I, I just... it never interests me. Hero Factory always interests me. I guess I'm more of an action figure guy than a playset guy. But, uh, yeah. Now, jeez, we went through that pretty quick. He's does not have a new head, which bugs me. Um, I don't get why they gave them their old heads back. That's kind of lazy. But it works. I mean, I have no problem with it. I'd rather have gotten a new head to use with Mox, but it works. But uh, just to say, I got three of these now. <laughs> I got three of these hel helmets or heads or whatever. But it's not bad. It's, it's a nice head. It's still the freaky monkey thing, but it's a nice head. <laughs> and, um, yeah. And he's got vents on it. <laughs> I'm trying to think of stuff to say. I went through that already. Hmm. I gotta do articulation too, so. But, um, yeah. He kind of retools some things. That's why he's not my favorite. Because he doesn't come with a lot of pieces. But he's, he's a good hero. And you can see the light painting a lot better on him. Even when I cover that, look at that. It's kind of creepy. Ooh, zombie. But he's got a ball jointed head. He's got a ball joint here. Hinge ball joint there. Ball jointed hands. Ball jointed hips. Ball joint hinge knees. And ball jointed feet. And then his turbines are articulated a couple times. He's got a hinge right there. And a ball joint right there. And he's move up and down. Oh my god. So he can be hovering. And float right off the screen, or he could repel right at the screen, which I don't want. I guess I'll demonstrate the gun now. <laughs> I'm running out of stuff to talk about. Just shoot it. It's pretty. It's a pain in the neck. <laughs> There it is. Eh, went off camera. 
as did the other two. <laughs> I think. I think Black Phantom's did. Yeah, it did. But, um, scale-wise, he is probably... He's kind of a little bit taller because of his little turban thing, so he's all, he's probably head height of Black Phantom. Kick the camera with my foot. Because <laughs> I am sitting on the ground. This is on the ground. This is... As you can probably tell. And this is only six minutes. Or five. Is it that? Really? Wow. I amazed myself with how fast I did that. It's not that impressive, though. Oh, you can see his turbines now. <laughs> but, uh, Ferno, he's good set. He's not bad. He's, he's cool. He just doesn't come with many new pieces. I mean... Sure, you got the turbines and stuff, but you were able to get those before. Yeah, you got the gun in red, but not many people use this, I don't think. Then you get this, which is cool, because you can use that with minifigures, but that's not what this would be used for. And I don't have a lot of night minifigures to put that with. <laughs> I have the one. I have one night minifigure. My friend's the one with the brick system. I'm the Technic system, so yeah, he's not bad. He's cool. He comes with a six pack armor, <laughs> which I like the flames. I, I really like the flames. And this is printed, by the way. I didn't mention that in Rocka's review. Something new this time. Jeez. And I never got Rocka's head either. I thought it would have looked more like his 2.0. Oh, and he comes with the handcuffs too. Those are new. And they function same way as rock is obviously but yeah oh seven minutes okay we're getting more into it but um price point same as rock 12 15 bucks i paid 12 99 so 13 pretty much so 13 uh 16 i guess with tax i i really can't tell you and uh piece range uh, a little more than rock uh, maybe six no 70 ish 70 ish maybe I don't have a bag with me, so I can't show you. And the height or size is about maybe a foot, 10 inches, around that ratio. Like I said, most of this is estimate, so we're probably going to get a lot more with the split face review, which is. As I knock the mask out on the floor. I literally knocked Mask out on the floor. <laughs> I had him sitting here. He was going to be in the reviews, but he took the day off. I know I killed him. But Split Face, he will have a lot more with him. So, stay tuned for Split Face. And I'm going to give this guy also a 9 because his design's nice. He just doesn't come with enough new pieces for me. I do like the use of the little claw piece, though. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and um, don't forget, sub to me, I'll sub back, and I'll get to your comments as soon as I can. See you later.